which uh, a lot of people expect that you guys to come in here and get embarrassed, but it seemed like you guys took the fight to Texas early, and it's not the outcome a lot of people expected. You know, what would you kind of take us through your mentality getting this team ready to come play this week? Well, it wasn't the outcome we expected either. So that our intention wasn't to come and show up. It's just like I just told the guys. You strap up and you step into the arena to win a football game. So that was our intention, and that was the intention inside the building all week long. So disappointed, frustrated that we weren't able to find a way. I'm proud of the way our guys fought. Um, you know, but we had opportunities for the game to – to, to really be, you know, inside of three to six points in the, in the last four to five minutes of the game and have an opportunity for it to be different. What's some of the keys to some of those early successes that you were able to have on defense? Obviously getting the takeaway and forcing a couple of times there after the last field came back. Yeah, I thought we wanted the line of scrimmage. I thought we wanted the line of scrimmage both sides of the football early on in the game. We needed to finish drives offensively and score touchdowns. Uh, some things happened inside of some drives where we ended up having to settle for field goals. To me, that is the difference. You know, there is, there's a story in the game. Um, and I, I did. I felt like we had opportunities in the first half where if we're not kicking field goals, we got a chance to be up at half. What did you think of Michael's first career start? Yeah, really tough. Uh, I'm proud of his effort, I'm proud of man, who he's been all week, his energy in the building, the way he's prepared. Um, and, and a guy that's, you know, he, it's really, really hard to shake. So uh, a ton to have to go clean up, you know, a ton to, to make sure that we're uh, paying close, close attention to as we're getting ready for uh, Georgia on, on the open date, but uh, proud of who he is and, and, and the way he battled. What happened on some of those uh, delayed game penalties? I mean, you know, was it the sideline? Was it the quarterback combination both? Yeah, it was, it was a combination of both. There was uh, quite a bit of frustration, no excuse at all. Um, but we ended up in a really bad situation where I thought that could have been handled in a completely different way uh, from a substitution standpoint. And, and then, you know, I really, I should have cleaned some things up there to, to get us out of that. It seemed like there were some breakdowns for the, in the second half. I mean, just the offensive line was allowed to take some of those sacks. What did you see there? Obviously, you know, you haven't reviewed the tape yet. But. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they did. They did a really good job from a pass rush standpoint, winning one on ones. Uh, thought we were in some some really good situations where we had uh, advantages on the perimeter, weren't able to hold up quite long enough. Uh, some fundamental things to continue to make sure that we're cleaning up. Uh, they've got really, really good pass rushers. So we tried to be in a little more gap pro today uh, to help us to firm some things up, especially for Mike. Uh, at times it was really good, and then at times, uh, you know, it wasn't. So we'll have to continue to, to get that that fixed. Little package for Parson too. I mean, you know, you, you, that's something you plan to continue to keep him engaged. Yeah, I want to keep him involved. Uh, Chris has been in just an unbelievable teammate as we've gotten into this thing. Completely unselfish, uh, finding ways just to help us, uh, man, day in, day out. So, I want to keep him involved as we move forward. Even if you didn't get points on the first drive, you strung some first downs together. You, you ate up half the first quarter due to the process. Was that the kind of start you could build on? Yeah, as long as you finish with, with points, you know, it, it absolutely is. Finding a way to go finish the drive and get points. Um, that was the intention to be able to chew up uh, a ton of the clock, have some ball control to be able to help our defense, take some pressure off of Mike. Um, but those drives have to finish with points. And uh, again, we got a chance for, you know, for this to be a little bit different. How big was that, that last drive, that scoring drive that you guys had? The first red zone touchdown that Texas has given up all year. And to kind of build Mike and this team's confidence kind of moving forward. Well, proud of our guys for just continuing to fight. And that's what we have done all year. There's, again, a ton of frustration, uh, a ton of disappointment. Our guys uh, willing to fight for, for what we want is, I think, very, very evident. And so we've got to continue to build on that. Uh, we got to play smarter and cleaner around Mike at all times to give us a chance to finish some drives. Um, but again, our guys' toughness, our demeanor, our edge, uh, and, and really our mentality as we walked in the stadium today was exactly what we wanted. I know you're frustrated with the loss, but when you just kind of look at the season as a whole, especially the three losses you had prior to today, does it still feel like there are some areas where progress was made where there's some things that you can 
build on and, and work toward? Yeah, I think we did some good things today, and we'll continue to build on those really good things, uh, regardless of uh, what's happened before this week. You know, as like I, I mentioned at the beginning of it, as we walked into the stadium, the intent was, you know, to have a happy locker room and not sit here the way we're sitting here right now. So. Um, the moral victory part of it will not creep into our building whatsoever. We will build on the things that were really good today. That will be important for us. And, and we've got to continue to find ways, man, just to get better every single day and, and create great energy and great toughness and great positivity uh, as we're continuing to set the foundation of who we're going to be. Yeah, we'll get back and uh, let our guys catch their breath a little bit. We'll practice. Uh, two really tough days of practice. We'll get great lifting sessions in on Tuesday and Thursday uh, and some great meetings and be able to get a jump on Georgia. Reed Whitmore and Trent Hudson, of course, that they're going to redshirt and not play the rest of the season. Are you able to comment on their role? No, I'm, 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 I'm going to focus on the 73 guys that, that made the trip, focus on those guys and continue to talk about the guys that were with us today. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.